Hi there, Release Fire here. So I've been spending hours playing Dreams on the PS4. It came out overnight. It's, uh, it's pretty epic what you can actually achieve. However, there's a huge learning curve, but I'm gonna try and condense everything that I learned into these kind of short videos to give you a bit more of an understanding of A, what the game's about, and B, what you can actually get out of the game itself and what you can do. Hopefully the videos are gonna help you out. If they do, drop me a like below. But to start with, I'm just gonna give you a bit of an introduction to the game itself. And you start by choosing an imp. And an imp is essentially your cursor. Now you can choose from a whole range of different imps. You choose the one that you're most happy with and that's what you'll use to actually move and shape things in the game. Now you can see on the screen that you essentially use the imp to be able to target things, and then you press and hold R2 to move them. You can also press R2 on items that you can possess. For example, this light and characters like Connie over here, the cone that will be your first character. Once you've possessed the character, you can then move them around using the left analog stick button. And that's essentially how you get started here in Dreams. And then you get to choose between Dream Surfing and Dream Shaping. Now I'm gonna cover Dream Surfing first because it's a way to dive straight into playing other people's games. So you choose Dream Surfing to choose other people's games to actually play. For example, there's Art's Dream, which is like the official sanctioned game within the game itself, and there's a whole load of others. And crazily enough, somebody has actually created a Mario character in a level that seems to work pretty well. So I thought I'd give you a quick demo of that just to show you the sheer extent of the possibilities you can do in Dreams. You can see it's pretty realistic, it's pretty accurate to Mario's actions. You can do the triple jump, so you can see there's lots of potential to actually do things here in Dreams on the PS4. And that leads you into Dream Shaping itself, which is creating in Dreams. Now to start with, there are certain things that you can do. You can move the camera using the right analog stick button, and you can also move your imp using the left analog stick button, both forwards and backwards and left and right. So when you combine that with the camera, that's your best bet of moving around. But the one thing that you need to remember to do is to strafe. And you do that by holding down L1 and moving the left analog stick button, and then you can strafe it any direction. Another cool thing not to forget is the zooming capabilities and essentially you grab something with R1 and you use the left analog stick to zoom in and out by pushing up and down or you can grab onto it using R1 and use the left analog stick or the right analog stick to spin around it using left and right directions. Once you get full access to your home space, things start to unlock a little bit in the game and you're able to do more dream shaping. And the best thing to do when you first start out in the game is to talk to this character and start to do some of the tutorials in terms of how to move things. So like we did earlier, you just grab an item with R2 and you move it around using the left analog stick button. And you can do the same here with strafing. So again, you just press R2 to grab it and then hold down L1 and then that initiates strafing so you can move it left and right and up and down in a straight line so it doesn't move around at all. You can use the left button, the left directional button to undo anything that you've done if you're not happy with it. And then you just kind of move the camera around if you need to get some fine detail done to move it into the right position. To tilt an item, you just hold on the arrow and then use the R stick to be able to move it in place. However, I kind of found it better just to tilt my PS4 controller to be able to get it in place. However, that doesn't always work, so you might want to play around with how you actually use the tilt function. You can also scale an item by holding it with R2 and then pressing up on the directional buttons and that just makes it grow bigger. You can also press down on it to make it go smaller and then you can duplicate an item by hovering over it and then pressing and holding L1 and then pressing R2 and that will give you a second item to move around quite freely and place wherever you want it to. If the backup button doesn't do what you want it to, you can also delete items by hovering over them and pressing on the triangle button. You get rid of them pretty quickly and then you're on into actually searching for items. And you can find these by clicking on the little magnifying glass and then you've got a huge array of different items that you could pick up, place into your world, place into your levels 
really easily. It's just a case of searching through to find the ones that you like and then you can place it into your environment. And then you're back to kind of moving it around with the left analog stick button and placing it with R2. You can stamp it down. You can stamp as many as you want. You can rotate it with L2. You can go back in and find other things and it doesn't take very long until you've got a little environment that kind of feels like it's halfway towards a level. So you just kind of grab lots of different items, place them into your area and make it a little bit cohesive. Then you're just into choosing your character, dropping them in and you can start running around almost instantly. As you can see, I'm just about to do that now. So you just find these instant characters in your, uh, in your search menu and then again, you just kind of drop them wherever you want them to go. And then once you've done that, you press on the options button click on the play and then you just need to possess the character and there you are running around with a character in an environment that you've created and it really doesn't take long before you've created something a little bit like this where it actually feels like a proper game level that you can jump around, make it through to different platforms. This probably took me around about half an hour to create, not too long to create something that genuinely feels like a half decent little bit of platform jumping for uh, for kind of like the very start of a game. And that's it, that's my short and sweet introduction to Dreams on the PS4, including moving and placing items, camera movement, and setting your character in a world. Hopefully the video helps you out. Like I said earlier, if it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can check out the rest of my guide for dreams on the PS4 with the links on the right hand side. I'll be covering everything in the game. Leave any comments and I will catch you next time.